Hi guys, welcome back to the next part of developing Dallas and as you can see I managed to pick up Greenberry this episode. <clears throat> actually found him on the market. Um, I couldn't actually find the other bronze on the market so we can't actually finish off all the bronze cards today. But Greenberry looks like he'll be a pretty decent slot receiver for us. I mean he's not incredibly quick but <clears throat> he's got good catching traffic, he's quick enough reasonably tall so hopefully he'll do a decent job in there and that means we've got the core of the team more cowboy based we've got all receivers and we've got i think just two linemen and the running back to upgrade to cowboys and then we have a full cowboys offense we're going to put crawford in as well looks like fairly decent player i mean i don't think he'll be outstanding by any stretch of the imagination but we'll get him in just to sort of pad the stats a bit, I suppose. We'll get Corey White in as well as a cornerback for us. And we've got a fair few receivers to put in, but since we've already got all the receivers and they were doing pretty well last episode, I don't, you know, see a reason to change them. We're going to put Gregory in. Um, horrible block shed, which I'm hoping won't matter too much considering he has 90 finesse move, but I can see it being a problem and I can see him getting stuck on the block a lot of the time but hopefully you know that won't hinder us too much on our defensive side of the game but as you can see Dunn here at the moment he's number one starting wide receiver and that's not what I want I want Greenberry to be in the slot I want Dunn to be wide receiver number two and then we will put our other wide receiver Farmer at number one not especially because he's a lot better than Dunn. I mean, Dunn was getting, making a fair few catches last time, but he drops a lot of open passes, and that's not something I can afford, considering we won the last game, won the Super Bowl, and we've gone up a division. So games are going to be a lot harder now. And I can't afford him dropping all those open passes so often. But on defence here, we've upgraded a little bit. I mean, got a silver corner in, got Steeples number two, and we got Sherman number three, and a lot of people seem to run three wide receiver sets so we'll have all three of them out on the field at the same time and Sherman obviously incredible player White I'm hoping can step up and Steeples obviously not the best but he'll do for now and we're sort of building up the D-line towards more silvers rather than bronzes so we've got right end left end silver which I'm hoping since I like to use uh, the middle D-lineman those guys will hopefully get around the blocks hopefully as often as I will get to the cornerback quarterback sorry and we'll get a few more sacks into our game because it's definitely something we could help with because I haven't got too many sacks in the past few episodes so hoping to up that because that is my favorite part about the game and also guys let me know what you thought of the draft uh, the actual NFL draft you know the real life one let me know what you think of the player your team got I know the Lions, can't remember his name right now, but I know they got an offensive lineman, which is definitely going to help them this year. I think they really need to, since Calvin's gone, they're going to have to change up their offense a fair amount, I think, because obviously he was an easy out, and that rushing offense was terrible last year. I think, I think it actually was the worst, so hopefully getting some good linemen in will really help in that. But like I said, let me know down below what you think of your team's pickup a lot of teams make good pickups but let me know your first round team pickup what you think of it down below but checklist on the on the screen now as you can see we still need one bronze but we're working our way through the silvers pretty quickly i mean three four episodes will be in the golds and then on to the elites which i'm gonna keep saying i can't wait for but if you guys have enjoyed the video up to this point smash a like on the like button let's try and get 15 likes comment down below on what you think of your team's draft pick and subscribe if you're new but i will jump into a game now so guys jumping into a game here and this is probably one of the shorter games i'm going to play but it definitely highlights the how good the defense is already getting but the reason this is a shorter game is i'll either be uploading a draft video either later today or to, or tomorrow so it'll be either double upload today or double upload tomorrow and I'm just putting a bit of time into that one. That's the reason this video ends up being a bit shorter. Because obviously I was drafting instead of playing 
more games with this account. But as you can see, we could have got a pick on the first play if our guy decided to catch it instead of batting it down. And he got an outrageous catch there. Like, I don't know how he did that. He threw into double coverage. Awful read. But he managed to come away with it. And that's probably the low-rated players Big coming in. Bit. But Richard Sherman coming up with yet another interception. Like, um, hopefully, next time I do a series like this, you guys will vote Seahawks because I can't wait to use Sherman and a lot of versions of Sherman. But brilliant spin move by Archer there. He's just such a good card. And he's actually got a Campus Hero card, which I, I think is pretty new. I'm not sure. It might have even come out today. But that card looks like an absolute glitch. And I can't wait to use that at some point this year. But we got 7 nothing up. We managed to get into 3rd and 22. And as you can see, he was doing uh, these weird glitch Hail Mary plays. And he made a phenomenal catch there. But luckily, didn't get the first down. So we get into 4th and inches. I thought he was just going to run it out the middle. Went for the toss and just about got it over the line. So he's slowly grinding his way up the field. I suppose he's he's just trying to abuse this Hail Mary stuff. And go. that time he didn't. And he threw it straight down Wilson's throat. And Wilson's going to take that for an easy pick. But he was getting his defence a bit better this time. I mean, he didn't really get a chance on the last, the last drive I had. But he got unlucky there to let me get the first down i mean he got the tackle i should have had two yards but bounced off it and managed to get the first first down and the screen worked last time so i thought i'll give it a try again didn't work this time he was definitely ready for that i mean i had nothing there i mean i was totally locked up but i'm going to one of my other favorite plays which is the z spot play because the tight end goes straight forward rolls out unless they're user in that it tends to work so Swain gets in there. He was playing really well this episode. I mean, good receiving tight end, to be honest, especially considering he's only a bronze. He's really quick. His release is a bit low, so he's a bit slow off the line. But he's got decent enough catching, decent catching traffic, and he's pretty quick and tall. So he was making a huge impact on a lot of this. And since I realised he was going Hail Mary's pretty much every play, I just went three-man deep. And I don't know how we didn't get a pick there. We could have got a pick with about three people. But we did get unlucky not to get a pick there. So I just want to pretty much seal this game out. I mean, we only just started the second quarter and already we've got three interceptions and we're 14 nil up. So I know at this point the game's pretty much over. It's sort of just uh, wasting time until he eventually quits because you know he's that type of guy who's going to get angry and quit. And we go with the same play that worked last time and you can see easy swain see how quick he is there he just totally outran that guy and he fights for yards so that's phenomenal considering he's a bronze card first and 10 here already 14 nil up i was you know deciding between which play to go the runs weren't really working too well but i thought i'd give one a crack just to see how it'd go only got one yard but at this point my man here had had enough and decided to quit but if you enjoyed the video guys drop a like on it try and get 15 like i said comment down below what you think of your team's choice in the first round of the draft and on and subscribe if you're new and on the subject of draft i'll upload a video either later today or tomorrow about the draft so look out for that one but i'll see you guys for the next episode of developing dallas tomorrow